Antarctica. New discovery. Scientists make breakthrough over dinosaur extinction event on this icy continent. Callum Horror Express UK reports something new that the Antarctica scientists found, and it's a breakthrough in understanding the event that they believe wiped out the dinosaurs over 66 million years ago. This is according to their new study. The Cretaceous Paleogene KPG event saw the sudden mass extinction of some three quarters of plants and animals over the whole earth about 66 million years ago. It's believed to have been caused by the impact of a massive asteroid measuring up to 10 miles in width when it struck the Gulf of Mexico at Yucatan's peninsula. A 112 mile wide crater can be seen today. Scientists think the strike devastated the global environment mainly through triggering what was a cosmic winter, a volcanic nuclear winter. The uh, Earth froze over. It halted photosynthesis in plants and left very little food for the animals. And that's why, of course, they became extinct. But the researchers near the South Pole have now made a breakthrough in Antarctica, and it explains how marine life returned after that event. A team led by British Antarctic Survey studied just under 3,000 marine fossils collected from below the frozen desert. They reveal how it took one million years for the marine ecosystem to return to pro-extinction levels. Author Dr. Rowan Whittle, a paleontologist at British Antarctic Survey, said recently, June 19, this study gives us further evidence of how rapid environmental change can affect the evolution of life. Our results show a clear link in the timing of animal recovery and the recovery of Earth systems. Dr. James Witts, who was part of the University of New Mexico team that helped, explain how the study reveals the sheer magnitude of the effects following the asteroid devastation. He said, our discovery shows the effects of KPG extinction were truly global, worldwide. Even Antarctic ecosystems, where animals were adapted to environmental changes at high latitudes, like seasonal changes in light and food supply, were affected for hundreds of thousands of years after this extinction event. It was previously revealed how former U.S. President Al Gore explained how the icy continent can be used to measure the impacts of climate change. He detailed during his book An Inconvenient Truth, how scientists dig deep below the surface and taking what are known as ice core samples. But Mr. Gore, who was Bill Clinton's running mate for their successful presidential campaign 1992 and 1996, detailed one surprising thing. He wrote in 2006, 2006, Yet another surprise for me was when scientists showed me that near the South Pole, the presence of air pollution in the ice cores visibly declined not long after the passage of the U.S. Clean Air Act in 1970. Looking back through the annual layers of ice, you can actually see that before and after with your own eyes. One thing both Antarctica and the Arctic have in common is the remoteness from civilization. Yet both of these formerly prestige locations are now marked by industrial pollution. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.